going on YouTube? Focus Tans here, uh, back with another episode. Uh, if you've been watching the endings of uh, all of my previous episodes, I'd like to give a little uh, Easter egg into what I'm going to be doing next. You know, um, I think that's pretty cool. But before I get on the tangent, we're going to be working uh, on the transmission in this video and probably the next video because there is a little bit of a little bit of Taekwondo that we have to do, a little bit of focused hands we have to do with the transmission to make sure it's done right. You just can't drop in an LSD. You just can't bolt things back together and expect it to work. Uh, it will break, and we're going to try to prevent that uh, with my car, and hopefully me doing this will help you prevent problems in your car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get our hands focused. It's cold here in Texas. Power's out. My power is back on finally after three days. Uh, my internet's still out, so if you're seeing this now, uh, this is after my internet actually went live, probably like four to five days later. But I'm here for you, and uh, let's get going. Fight. 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 So, picked up a uh, LSD from N Factory, uh, specifically for the Ford Focus, and I believe Hondas can also use the same uh, LSD. Let's get it out of package here, if I can do that. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I'll give you a close up. Uh, see that spiraling on the inside? That looks like that's going to be pretty cool. And I'll show you what the other one looks like. It's got spiraling in it. it. Looks pretty cool. Here's the side profile. Let me spin it for you. Okay. So there's that. Then I'm gonna need gloves for this one. Okay, so already you should be able to see the difference in them. This is an open diff. <laughs> this is not open. Um, I'm not sure like that actually has anything to play with it, but it probably does. I mean, this is an open bit, but it's cool. All right, I'm gonna look at the insides. They don't have that spiraling on either side, but it is open. Now, you might be asking, why did I go out and buy this uh, LSD? for the focus and the answer to that question is if you're going to be putting more power in your Ford Focus uh, to the wheels uh, you definitely want to get better traction so that you don't have a lot of torque steer and the LSD is supposed to uh, alleviate some of that uh, pretty deadly torque steer torque steer excuse me um, and allow you to put the power on the ground um, and boy I can't wait to do that so that's why I went out and bought this uh, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on the transmission today uh, taking off the uh, the gear I need this gear was this is what's going to get transferred over to the new LSD and then obviously um, this will come up for sale and or will become an ornament so if you're looking for an open diff, if yours broken, hit me up on uh, my Instagram and or I'll put this in my uh, offer up store so that you can go and buy that if you need to. Anyway, let's uh, start uh, getting to taking off the old diff and uh, we'll continue. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm not sure um, if using a, 
professional torquey boy here torque wrench impact gun impact wrench impact gun <laughs> will uh damage anything in here but i'm going to give it a try these 10 bolts that are on the differential are held in by red loctite so if it, it, it's going to take a lot to get these off and you're going to need red loctite uh, when putting this back together, which I will explain when we're doing that and I'll show you how it needs to be done This is my first time doing this um, So let's get to work All right, so uh, looks like the bolt size for these are uh, 13 millimeter so uh, It is a, a little loose um, I tried a 12 but a 12 wouldn't work. So Gonna go with a gonna go with a thirteen. Makes the best size. All right, so I'm gonna give this a whirl. Oh yeah, that makes this it makes this easy. All right, so we got the bolts off, and one thing I noticed is that, uh, let's see if you notice the same thing. Let's take a look at this bolt. Two more seconds. Believe me what the issue is down in the comment section for this. I'm not even going to tell you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on, we need to get the... Uh, the gear off remember because we need we need this part we need this part of the gear the the gear <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have to use a uh, a devil hammer to hammer down on to get it off so let me go grab that stay tuned Probably gonna do this on the floor. Forty-five banger. All right, so we got it out. There it is, and I'm gonna bring the new one back over for a show, so you can see them side by side. They actually are roughly the same size. Um, yeah, that would be how you do that. Old diff, new diff, but they are definitely different. <laughs> that was a differential joke. I failed. Anyway, what we're going to do now is take this bad boy and we're going to apply it uh, to the, the, new, uh, the new LSD. And we're going to use or actually pull the Haynes manual and see what they recommend to use for uh, locking this down. Red Loctite, blue Loctite, of the sort. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and tell you, um, this didn't have any red Loctite on it. So I'm not for sure if we need to use red Loctite. But I'm gonna find out by reading the Haynes manual and uh, I'll be back, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start installing the uh the roller bearings on. Just gonna get the tools ready and we'll begin. Okay, so uh, for this I'm gonna use the size D uh, on this bearing uh, pressing tool that I bought, size D, and it's right, right on the cusp of just the bearing, the inner bearing, uh, I guess race and not on the this little plasticky piece on the outside. So I'm gonna hit just right there and I think we should be good. All right, so essentially what we're gonna do is gonna take this uh, uh, seal and race installer uh, and bearing, I guess, installer. And we're just gonna put it right on top of that and we're gonna hit it with the hammer um, up here 
and then drive it down. Uh, dead blow hammer and see how it goes. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then we'll switch. But let's begin. I think I might want to flop this around the other way. So that it has that surface. That's that's better. Okay. See how it's going on? That's what you want there. Alright, so most people would stop and I'm gonna zoom you all the way in. Most people will stop right here where these two meet at the surface. That's actually wrong. You have to go a little bit below the surface of the differential in order for you to get, to get the correct preload uh, for this transmission. So just be, be aware that, that don't stop here, we need to go below. So let's uh, switch over now. I'm gonna go get a socket, a socket 36, I think, so I can hit this on his outside, so I don't hit the differential itself because it won't do anything. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I got the uh, socket size 36, and it seems to fit right on where I need it to. So we're gonna continue hitting on this until it drops just below the lip surface. Almost. sound is good so uh, I totally messed up the camera here so you see how it sits just below the surface here that's how you want it it's just below and now we're gonna do this to the other side stay tuned I flipped the differential over and I put it in some kind of like plastic and this little styrofoam cushion and hopefully that helps uh, so that I don't destroy the bearings I just put on. Um, those are those are bad days. Why is this bolt missing? Bearings. So here is the credentials from Ford. Here, um, if you wanted to pick this up, I got this off of uh, Ford Parts Giant. And uh, they do come with uh, new new races, but you'll have to order the shim separate, and we'll get to that in a later video. All right, so it's unpackaged. And again, you, you really want to be careful with your bearings, so you don't want to damage them. You also want to be careful with your races. You don't want to damage those either. Let's get it on here. I'm just gonna press it on like that for now. Now, take out the tool that we used earlier. And we'll knock it in. This tool makes it super easy to knock in. It's 
switch to your socket. Okay, so it's on. Alright, so let's do a little show here. That, uh, there we go. See how it sits just, let me bring, let me bring it in. See how it sits just below that surface? So here is the differential here. Turn so you can see. There we go, focus. And that surface here is the differential, and the bearing sits just below that surface. So you want to have that in order to get the correct preload for the vehicle. Anyway, let's uh, move on to uh, lock tightening the, uh, the gear back on. Um, this variant didn't come with any Loctite, uh, which is kind of concerning. And I need to go, when I'm going to go find out more about, should I use blue Loctite or red Loctite? Red Loctite seems to be super permanent. Um, but I'm going to do some more reading before I start this next bit, uh, which you're going to be seeing this all at one time. But there were several days in, in between the making of these videos. Uh, I'm going to go do that to see if uh, I need to go red Loctite or can I get away with using blue Loctite. So stay tuned. All right, wipe this down a little bit. Get all this nasty grease off of it. So I've searched the farms looking for uh, information about the differential and what uh, kind of Loctite I should use. So I have red here and I also have the, the orange which holds like red but you still can, you know, uh, use common hand tools to unlock it red is is really hard to remove uh and reading the haynes manual one i didn't find any info about the differential mainly because i think for if there's any if there's ever a problem which are mtx 75 where it has to be replaced they don't do repairs uh, on the 75 they just replace the whole unit and charge you an absorbent fee so uh, I'm probably not going to use the uh, red stuff, but I am going to use the orange. Uh, mainly, uh, when I took apart the open diff, it did not have any Loctite on it. One, it could mean that whoever had the car before me did work on uh, the differential uh, itself, uh, and two, it probably didn't have any Loctite coming from the Ford factory. So I am going to uh, lube up all of the 10 bolts here. There's 10 bolts in total. we get them ready for installation. Um, yeah, I'm going to use orange instead of red. So let me, uh, let me get that all set up and I will turn you back on. Stay tuned. All right, so the correct way to install this is actually not like this, but more so like this. It needs to be installed from the face up. So make sure that you're doing that right. You wanna line it up just like so. And we'll put a bolt in on either side. These have the orange Loctite on them. 
So I'm gonna just get it in place here. Help provide a hold. Then we'll get another one on the other side. We want to, I'm going to snug them up and we'll torque them down to, uh, 65 foot pounds. Uh, again, I didn't find any information regarding the differential in the Haynes manual. Uh, but I did find, um, people in the forums, uh, particularly the focal jet form and the, uh, focus fanatics, uh, form, uh, pretty helpful forms, uh, that had this information in here. Uh, about the torque for it. So 61 and or 65. I'm going to go with 65. There's not very much difference. And the differential will be complete. So and ready to drop in. Uh, but we still got to do the shimming. So it's not all the way done yet. So let's uh, torque it down and move on. Stay tuned. First one's gonna snug him up. All right, so now we'll torque them to sixty five foot pounds. Using the torque wrench. And we're going to need our friend here. All right, let's check it, make sure that we got them all. And there's one left. This is why you mark them so you know uh, which ones you did and which one you didn't do. So I still have this one here to do and I'm going to recheck this one um, because I can't really see the marking so okay so the differential is now complete and torqued to specification uh, or a specification, if you will. So it's ready to now go back into the transmission. <laughs> 